I think it would take several hundred years before you could display that and people wouldn't immediately associate it with the Nazis. Hello, I'm Tim Marshall and I've got a new paperback out. Worth dying for, the power and politics of flags. The swastika goes back a long way, certainly before it became this symbol of evil. In the Chinese Book of Silk, you see comets and some of them are spinning in such a way that you actually get the swastika in the sky and, and ancient peoples will have seen this and so it became a, a sign of something. And in the Indian culture, it, it certainly became a sign of, of good luck and hope. The Nazis then turned that around. I mean, they physically reversed the swastika and of course then it became a symbol of evil and that's really problematic because in our culture it's evil but you see it over in Asia and of course it's not and should it be banned here that's contextual obviously it shouldn't be banned in a particular sort of temple but you might might if you choose want to ban it let's say at a political rally what happened under the swastika will become ancient history and only at that point will it fade and its original meaning might rise. In the context of the, of the swastika and, and a flag, I think in the European context, we are decades, who knows, centuries away from it being shown without that connotation. In other parts of the world, of course, it remains what it was, uh, a peaceful symbol.